This video is based on the St George's Healthcare NHS Trust policy on caring for patients with a tracheostomy tube and is designed to direct healthcare practitioners towards the safe and progressive management of tracheostomized patients. A tracheostomy is created by forming an artificial opening into the anterior wall of the trachea to facilitate ventilation. There are two commonly used percutaneous techniques using either a guide wire and a series of dilators to obtain dilation of the tracheal stoma known as the Siagla technique, or by using dilatational forceps, the Griggs technique. During the procedure, complications can arise but are rare. These include hemorrhage, surgical emphysema, pneumothorax. A wide range of tubes are available, and the choice of tube is based upon the original need for the tracheostomy, the individual anatomy of the patient, and their specific needs in relation to their health and communication. Sterile tracheal dilators must always be available as there is the continual risk that a tube may fall out or become misplaced. They are useful at tube reinsertion as they allow the stoma to be held open for ease of guidance of the new tube. All adult patients should be hyperoxygenated immediately before the procedure to reduce the risk of complications such as hypoxia and cardiac arrhythmias. Always check what type of tube your patient has in situ and if it's a single fenestrated tube then the non-fenestrated inner cannula should be reinserted prior to endotracheal suctioning. For those patients in hospital who are breathing in room air, a heat moisture exchange device must be inserted over the tracheostomy tube. This is a passive form of humidification which traps some of the patient's expired warmth and moisture.